excuse me? It would be an honor if you would let me do your hair for your upcoming journey. I know that you and the other soldiers have been working so hard in our village, and I feel like I've never personally gotten to thank you or repay you for everything that you've done here, but I'm so grateful for everything you've done for us. I really, really am. And since you're leaving tomorrow with your troop, at least temporarily, I'd like to do your hair, if that's okay. Can I do that for you? Thank you. Yeah, go ahead, sit down. I've been doing my siblings' hair my whole life. Now, granted, I've never touched hair exactly like yours, um, or done your signature hairstyle, but I do think that I have the skills to give you that warrior's ponytail that you wear so beautifully. Let's see. I'm just going to start by brushing your hair. Is that all right? Okay. I think it's, um, good for you to relax as much as you can before one of your big expeditions. So, if you want to close your eyes, that'd be totally fine. We're all so impressed by the work that you warriors have done here. I don't think I'll ever forget the first day I saw you <laughs> striding into our little village on the most grand war elephant I've ever seen in my life. So loud and impressively trained and the next thing I knew, our village had roads <laughs> and our people were reading books. Needless to say, we here are all very, very glad that you're about to go and bring a similar wealth of resources somewhere else. Um, and we wish you luck on your journey. I know my grandma is personally a little bit excited to have less mouths to feed in the village. Of course, she is honored to feed you and the rest of your troop, um, and she delights in catering all of our meals to your uh, foreign taste buds, um, and in fact, expanding all of our palates. We're very honored to have expanded palates now. Our palates never would have expanded so much had you not come with your roads and elephants. But it will be a little bit of a uh, exhale for my grandma when there's a little bit less mouths to feed. Especially the mouths of you hungry warriors. Very hungry working so hard here, refurbishing our architecture and social organization structures. You really do have unique hair. So smooth, so smooth, so smooth. It's looking pretty untangled now. Let's see if I can just kind of lightly start combing it back to prepare. 
here for the high ponytail. You usually do it pretty high and kind of right in the middle, right? I think I can do that for you. Just can you tilt you tilt your head down a little bit? Yeah, just like that. from the back, some of that hair from the back. All right. How does that feel? Does that feel tight like it usually is? Does it feel tight? You can touch it if you'd like. Mm hmm. Yeah, I think so too. You have a couple flyaways, so I'm gonna slick them back a little bit, alright? I'm just gonna slick them back with some water. You know, ever since you've been here, I've kept my ears open to hear about all of the other feats that you've accomplished across the Empire. It seems like you've really done some phenomenal things in every village that you come across. It's amazing how many people fall in love with you. I can see why, honestly. You're certainly very strong. You've got those big sword-wielding sorts of arms. Can I touch your sword? Oh, that's okay. Yeah, I don't need to. That makes sense. It's You don't have it on you. Um, where do you usually keep it? I'm just wondering. Huh, interesting. Is that where all of the soldiers keep their weapons? Hmm, that makes sense to keep them all together. That's very smart of you. It's very smart. Now there's this one little flyaway that's just not quite sticking down, so I'm gonna... Go ahead and cut it off. Unless you're going for that <laughs> things look, <laughs> which I don't think you quite are. just as magnificent as you did the first time I saw you. Imposing. Fearsome. I feel like you could dominate the world. If the world would let you. <laughs> now, I know this might not be conventional, but I would be so, so, so deeply honored if you would let me do your war paint as well. I'm sure there's plenty of other people who would like to do your war paint for you, but um, I have my own mix of red paint I've been working on ever since your soldiers got to this village. 
mixing the dyes from different plants and I think it's a very beautiful shade of red and um, it doesn't fade near as easily as some of the other dyes I've seen soldiers use um, and it also smells quite nice would you like to smell some? smell it smell it smell it smell it smell it smell it doesn't it smell nice? a little bit floral and it's completely safe to the touch okay really? you would let me do your war paint? I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I will never forget this day. I will never forget everything that you've done for our people here. And I'll never forget saying goodbye to you on this journey. Knowing all of your intentions to bring so much culture to more little villages like ours. Alright, let's see. I'm just going to put some paint there on your cheek, right there, there on your cheek, there, just like that. There. If you feel just the slightest bit of tingling in your eyes, that's totally normal. It's going to fade. It's just um, your skin getting a little bit used, more used to the biological qualities of these plants. They're not things that we commonly put on our skin, but they are very safe. It just takes your eyes, your nose, it might take them a little bit of adjusting. So a little bit of tingling is totally normal. You don't have to worry about it, okay? Put this paint right there on your face. Paint right there on your face. And I'll do it kind of in three lines, like a little chicken foot. Like the, um, the flag of your people. Oh, you don't want me to compare it to a chicken foot? That's fine. I'm sorry. Um, I love chickens. I think chickens are very smart, and um, I certainly didn't mean it as an insult. Um, I think that chickens are uh, beautiful, and actually we have a lot of folklore uh, where I'm from um, about um, the godly qualities of chickens. And so I was, I was actually just comparing you to a god just now, and all of your people to gods, um, because you're just so strong and smart. Um, truly a gift unto us, you are. Um, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry if that didn't come across in what I was saying. Um, what would you prefer that I compare the shape to or the lines to? What would, what would, what would you call it? Oh, just, just three lines. It's not like a picture. Okay, just three lines. Just three lines to signify conquest, economy, and generosity. The three pillars of your society. Understood. Understood. Got it, got it, got it. Conquest. Economy. Generosity. Conquest. Economy. Generosity. Conquest. Economy. Generosity. Y'all are so smart coming up with a culture like that. We could have never done that all by ourselves. What a blessing it is to be included 
in your people's conquest, economy, and generosity. Truly, I mean it. I mean it. I mean it. Now let's just let that die settle. Let that die settle. And I'll give you those little anger marks with the last of this paint. Those little angry, grumpy, grumpy, grumpy marks. Very grumpy. Are you feeling a little bit tired? That's okay. It might just be the tingling from the dye. It might feel better if you went ahead and closed your eyes. Gave your eyes a little bit of a break. I'm just gonna wash that pigment off my fingers here in this water. There we go. And I'll keep making sure that your hair is nice and smoothed back. Go ahead and close your eyes. You have a big day tomorrow. All of you soldiers do. Have such a big day. It's very important for you to get your beauty sleep. Especially now that you're looking so beautiful. In your warrior's attire. You look so nice. And so strong. So strong, so valiant. I know that you mean well. I do. I do. The world will be grateful. For you to pass through it and beyond it. Go to sleep. Take a nap. Take a nap. I'll look after you. I will. I'll look after you. I'll make sure that you fulfill your destiny, okay? I'll make sure that you fulfill your 